yes episode 36 of the journey's anime titled crawl out of the sand tomb ash and go just dropped out and in this episode ash is struggling whereas go is surging what does that mean let's find out lot of people were upset that the last episode Ash didn't show any signs of being upset over his loss against B. Heck, even I was thinking of bringing it up but decided against it because I wanted to let the episode play out before I said anything. I'm glad I did. The beginning of this episode shows that it isn't Ash losing to B that made him upset. I mean, that wouldn't really make sense because in the same episode, he was to get revenge on her. No, it is instead his two back-to-back -to -back losses and due to this loss of confidence because of the B battle that makes him upset. It's interesting during the series we have seen a few times where Ash struggles with battling after a loss but this time it's mostly himself and his lack of self-confidence leading to this issue. In the first battle he has Riolu play a bit more defensive against the Octillery than usual because he's worried about being caught. Because of that he actually does get caught and cured with Octazuka but again while he is bit upset at this loss he is ready to go again when he sees another challenger accept his world championship battle. I am going to assume that he does take Riolu to a Pokemon center between battles here because it would be reckless if he didn't. Regardless, his second match is against a Tentacruel and similarly to his first battle, his doubt makes his Riolu turn around after getting close to Tentacruel, causing it to get caught and cured with Poison Sting. And this is the battle that pushes him to the normal class. The episode then jumps over to Hoenn as they have a sandstorm blocking the road in Mobile City and it also seems like the sandstorm is singing causing civilians to be lured in. Back in Sakuragi lab, they are investigating the sandstorm and the potential unknown Pokemon causing this when Go says he wants to go as a research fellow. We then see Ash in the corner depressed about his loss and this is meant to be more comedy than serious as he is dragging out by Go to Hoenn. When they get to Hoenn, the storm is still there and it isn't until they hear the singing inside that Ash perks up. They decide to go into the storm with everyone including an invisible sobel wearing their goggles. Inside the sandstorm, they first rescue the three civilians who went in who are falling down a sand pit created by a trap pinch. Go captures the trap pinch using a super curveball and they save the three civilians who go on their own way. Then they hear the singing again so head deeper into the sandstorm, they spot a why Braba and Go tries to catch it but fails initially. However, the second time he throws a curveball which Vibraba dodges only for Rabut to kick the ball towards Vibraba, getting it caught in the process. Right after that, a giant Pokemon comes out of the sandstorm with red eyes, none other than Flygon. This battle with Flygon is interesting in how we see Ash doubts manifest themselves. Even though he just heard the Pokedex entry for Flygon, he has Pikachu use Thunderbolt which doesn't work since Flygon is a part ground type Pokemon. Ash switches off to Riolu and then continues to use the same move over and over again in vacuum wave because he doesn't have the confidence to get close to fight again. This leads to him being defeated by Flygon eventually while Go continues to battle. The interesting thing about Go's battle are his strategies. First of all, I think this is the first time he has used Sobel in battle actively. I know he used some moves last episode when facing Team Rocket but that to me came off more as Go just using Sobel since it was nearby. 
this time he calls it out he also notices things in battle that ash would but currently isn't such as the move being absorbed by the sandstorm to harden it and predicting the flygon's dragon rush attack from underground it's being made pretty clear here that go has picked up a lot of ashes battle tactics from just seeing him battling which shows ashes influence towards go and that is made pretty clear when he uses this famous ash strategy of jump on boulders in the air and attack he uses ember on draco meteor rocks and break through it cracking the rocks to 1000 pieces and hitting flygon allowing go to capture it Ash is stunned but Go says that it's his strategy that he's using. He's found that the move that works are the move you've practiced with your Pokémon and that even if the move doesn't work for the first time, you have to be creative with how to use it. Ash realizes that he's been fighting really dumb lately and says that he needs to start over his training and that's the end of the episode. It's interesting that they choose to do this episode before the next episode where Ash is heading back to Alola, the place he became champion. To me, I think the fact that Go is now telling Ash how to battle really puts into perspective how much the loss to be affected him more than him just being depressed food ash has always been a creative fighter that's been one of his defining traits even from the start of the series having him lose one of his defining traits is a big deal because of that it will be interesting to see how he regains it in his time in alola because this isn't something that you can skim over or skip if you have committed to actually starting his training we need to see it and i hope this is something that the writers have to really put some thoughts into it also i'm not sure why but this is one of those episode that makes me feel like they might be phasing out ash for go go is now developing into an incredible battler as well as a capturer he is also taking a lot of ash's personality it is enough to the point of replacing him probably be not yet but still if it happens in the future i wouldn't be surprised because the last few episode really shows ghost character a lot more than ashes overall this is a good episode i'm glad we didn't get a fully depressed ash episode because honestly i'm tired of those even after losing ash has good attitude and wants to persist and keep getting better in this case he just doubt himself after three losses but still it's not like it makes him super bitter and unlikable go comes off as super strong here his battling skills having improved tremendously since the start of the series and he's capturing ridiculous the pokemons now like fly gone by himself essentially it will be interesting to watch ash try to regain his fighting instinct in the coming episode and i can't wait to see it and that's it episode 36 is now in the books thank you so much for watching if you like this video like share and subscribe in the comments let me know your thoughts regarding this episode till then stay safe i'll talk to you guys later